Hello and welcome to ESC TV. Today we're lucky to have with us Professor Christophe Leclerc from Rennes in France, who's topic coordinator of Village One at the ESC Congress, which covers arrhythmias, pacing and resynchronization. Welcome. Good evening. So what have been the highlights in your view of this year's presentations and discussions at Village One? This year was very important for Village One because first we had the presentation of the 2013 ESC guidelines on cardiac pacing and resynchronization therapy. And these guidelines have a very new original format with a more practical and clinical approach. So we hope that all the physicians can use very easily these guidelines. We had, a, I would say, formal session to present the guidelines, but we had also a very practical session, case-based session, to explain how to use the guidelines. The second topic was related to a dramatic problem we have in all countries of Europe, is sudden cardiac deaths, and how to identify the patient or the subject who, had, who are at a, a risk of sudden cardiac death, and also how to manage the patient who had a resuscitated sudden cardiac death. So we had a lot of session about sport and arrhythmia, but also uh, the place of genetics now to try to identify the patient at risk for sudden cardiac death. And finally also we have two very important uh, clinical trials which were presented today. The first uh, ECO-CRT was dedicated to assess the efficacy of CRT in patients with narrow QRS because so far the guidelines consider only patients with wide QRS. And uh, this uh, trial was prematurely stopped because there was uh, overall mortality in patients uh, with CRT on. So it was a very important trial. The other one was about the long-term uh, phase of the medit CRT trial showing that CRT is efficient over a follow-up time of six years. So it was a very important year for Village One this year. Absolutely. And what do you have planned for next year? Uh, for next year, I think that we, we will have a lot of session with a very practical approach, especially how to uh, interpret ECG, alter monitoring, electrophysiologic study, and also a case-based approach about the guidelines, because I think uh, to be sure that the guidelines are used by the physician, you need several years. So the plan to, uh, for next year uh, will be to have a very practical approach. And one final question, perhaps one that's a bit more difficult to answer, is what do you think is coming in terms of our uh, clinical development of our knowledge over the next year, sort of new discoveries perhaps or new approaches? I think that uh, one of the hot topic will be also atrial fibrillation because now we have more and more drugs to prevent uh, stroke and embolic events in uh, in patients with atrial fibrillation. And for the physician, it's not very easy how to use these new drugs. So we will have a session how to use these drugs, when to use these drugs, and which drug will be the best for this patient or the other patient. Uh, we will have also, I think, a lot of uh, data about uh, uh, the place of uh, AFib ablation and also about the treatment of ventricular tachycardia using uh, ablation. Uh, and finally, I think also that in CRT we will have a new data about uh, especially uh, uh, more technical aspects, but our, where to place the lead in the, in the CRT patients. Well, thank you very much for that update on Village One, and thank you for joining us. Thank you. ESC Congress 365 is your free access to ESC Congress content all year long.